Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or if you're new welcome this is Hive Will I am Will in today's video I will be reacting to season 5 episode 9 of Riverdale Today's episode is called Destroyer Wait, what are you? Yeah, chapter 85 Destroyer and what's gonna happen is that as Betty grapples with a grim revelation Jughead grows concerned over a student Whoa they're teachers and they are worried about their students. Well, that's something normal. Finally. Veronica and Archie work to revamp the Riverdale football team. Yay. So, yeah, I don't know much what to say right now. I think Riverdale is on a point that a bunch of fans are like... And I don't know if it's just like the Barchi fandom because obviously we were the ones that were most affected last episode, but I'm not even talking about Barchi, the fact that they broke up. I'm talking about the fact about how the writing was done on the last episode and all of that. You know, I, I've seen the, the sneak peeks of this episode. I've seen Cheryl singing with the... the um, the vixens and I was just like no I mean you I like you singing like you, you you're a good singer not not saying uh, anything not nothing against them singing but she's the coach I believe um Tony's not on this episode because obviously Vanessa, Vanessa had her baby so she's probably not on this episode but if Cheryl was in the vixens when she was a student and that like coach that appeared in one episode she should have stayed for the rest of the season so she could like fix stuff um imagine if that coach was singing and being the main star of the routine in the the how what was the song hello mommy hello nah, I'm ch -ch 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 -ch. sherry bomb that's it imagine if she was the the star of that routine sherry would have killed her she would have hit her with a car and then bury her or put her on a doll, something that Chevy likes to do, I don't know. Like, one of the vixens should be like, bitch, you're not on the team, you're old. She's like 25, but she was talking about dying less episode ago, so her words not mine. You know what I'm saying, like, they did a, a seven years jump but they are refusing to grow up the characters. And this goes again for like the visuals and all, like... Archie cut his hair, same as me, and I'm not like seven years older. Just tired. Seven years older, tired. Um, see, like, if you're gonna do a time jump, do it right. And Riverdale... I think it's a show that is constantly scared of their fan base, and I get that, but they shouldn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, they were taking risks, but then it just put everything back to normal, and then kinda it was smart for them, but at the, in the other hand it wasn't. Because yeah, people were liking those risks, so... Now shit is going back to normal and everybody's gonna be like, oh shit, Coco Daily is back. Or Cringe Dale or whatever. Those videos are awesome, go watch them. Not now, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so what I was saying, um, risks. Yeah, they were taking risks and people were liking the risks. And now it's back to normal. But that goes well for probably one side of the fandom that likes more of like the cringy stuff and whatever but for the other part there is the bigger one even people that weren't like barchi um fan stand whatever stands whatever they were liking the the story and how it was not cringy anymore well it has some part of it no Cheryl is still on the show but not saying that Cheryl is all the problems but yeah i don't know i think they're just scared of going way further with the changes that they have to do because it's tiring, like, being a Riverdale fan is frustrating because you have to take 
every like single shit to have like one episode or two in the middle that are actually good and that you enjoy and then you have like the rest of the show that is like huh so yeah um with that said i just i just want to say that basically that there's a lot to work and they shouldn't be scared of the fans they should just write the story they want and maybe find a new writer to or somebody that say like roberto Teenagers don't do strip. They're not strip teasers. Or that's cringy. Or they don't need a musical right now, even though I love the musicals and yeah, that's maybe because I, I like musicals overall, but like somebody should tell him those stuff. Or even I mean the actors can do much, they just have to do what they tell them to, but what I'm trying to say is that accept the change. And don't go back to what the show was because the show was finally getting good again. And for what it looks like, and the sneak peeks, and Veronica talking with her dad, and whatever was happening on that sneak peek. Um, I don't know, I just don't want things to get back how they were because, like, season four was getting better, but it was still not. Whoa. So yeah, about Barchi. Um, thank you guys for sharing your thoughts on the the last video. I thought you you guys were needing it, and I was needing like somebody to agree with me because I I'm I'm always trying to be nice on my videos. Like I don't want to point uh, every shit that I see because I'm like I don't want to be rude. Maybe I should talk a little. Should like keep talking a little bit more about those stuff and trying to do them nicely, which is kind of hard. Um, but thank you guys for sharing. I feel like we as a, a fandom were needing to talk. And yeah, I was basically watching your comments and I'm like, yeah, it's fucked. So yeah, um, if you still feel frustrated, be, be welcome to keep talking in the comments I'm I'm like it's okay we're we're going through this together and we, we only have one episode for for the show to stop which is gonna be good for me because I have a lot of work to do but and I feel like I need a break of Riverdale honestly but yeah talking about, talking about the break if you guys are still watching this part of the video I'm just gonna like put this part again on the end just if somebody didn't watch this part but um, random question, but I'm, I'm, I would like if you guys answer it. Um, what was the thing that you mostly didn't like about season two? Because I'm, I'm having a project that I'm trying to rewrite season two. I'm not going to rewrite all of it. I'm not going to like put the script. I'm just going to rewrite the story overall. And I wanted to know what you guys thought it was more like. What the fuck? Like, I already have some ideas and I showed them to my sister because she watches Riverdale too. And she kind of likes them. And I think I'm going on a good path of rewriting everything. I have ideas for all of the seasons. So, there's no Gargoyle King. I mean, my villain of the season is going to be called King. It's going to be like the King, but it's going to be... I don't know, I, I, I don't have many ideas for season 3. I'm just... I just know what, I'm, what I want to fix. Oh, and... Hiram is not gonna be on the show like he's gonna go by the end of season 3 so you're welcome but yeah tell me um, what you guys mostly didn't like about season 2 like what was the thing that you were like most I'm not watching the same show that I was watching one year ago so yeah tell me that please um, I will appreciate that a lot and yeah with that said um, support the channel if you want give it a big thumbs up comment that please uh, and you can even talk about the other seasons if you want I, I would appreciate that but I'm just saying season 2 for now because that's the one that I'm focusing more and subscribe for more Riverdale content because even though the show is gonna the mid-season final is gonna be on the next week I'm gonna still be uploading Riverdale stuff not as many as I'm doing right now obviously but because I need a break of the show so but yeah, I'm gonna be posting more Riverdale stuff in the future, so yay!
um, subscribe for that and without wasting any more of your time because this angel is fucking big let's watch Riverdale <laughs> Science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke said this about aliens. They're fake. Polly's out there, Mom. We don't even know if that was her blood on the phone booth. She called us from that booth half hour before we got there. Who else's blood would it be? We'll find out when the FBI calls me back. Somebody, because Riverdale is not... is not Polly's blood. Because what I spoke in the beginning, Riverdale is too scared of changing the show. I would have killed Polly. I know. I'm sorry if you guys like her, and I do like her, but the show needs a change, so yeah. But if it's her blood, yay! Something's gonna change unless they just forget about it in one or two episodes, because that, that's probably what they're gonna do. So mm -hmm. totally could have been practicing for regionals instead of wasting our time here. I couldn't agree more, Cassandra. <laughs> could not agree. More. Okay, so now Cheryl doesn't want to be shearing for the Bulldogs. Well, I do believe Coach Andrews is the best motivator a gridiron gang could ask for. As your de facto team owner, what can I Bertie's back! Remember what I said? That she was basically Archie and Betty's daughter? Veronica, you're in the presence of love. I'm sorry. And sing this with all the love because I love Veronica, but. Get a new man, because this one... Yeah, it just sucks to lose, coach. I'm giving you my all. I hear you, man. Look, there was no better player than you out on that field today. They say that to everyone. That's just a way for everybody to, to keep, like, happy about it. You're writing about aliens now? Yeah, but it's, it's not just about aliens. It's about personal trauma. And if I'm right, it's about a town's collective trauma. Could you please just take the idea to Scribner's? Yeah, I'll let you know what they say. Thank you. I appreciate it. Would you be interested on, on reading about this? Like, not being sarcastic, just would you? Personally, I wouldn't. Maybe when I was like... 13, 14... 14? 14, not 14. 13, 14, I would. Because I wrote, like, stuff about aliens in the past. But it was more like... Shows uh, more like H2O kind of types, you know, it was more like family friendly, but like a, Would you guys like to read about aliens and town that believes them are real? So uh, I always said like a, a a Trauma a trauma in the city or whatever um, Those kinds of books would you guys like to read it? I don't like too much of heavy stuff like on mine I don't like those dark movies that the main character is like a psycho and he struggles because he his dad um, raped him when he was a kid or stuff like that. I don't like to see that. I know those things happen in real life, but I like to have them like far away from me. So this this looks like a heavy book. Would you guys like to read it? Like really, and be honest here. <laughs> Cheryl, please just stick around for one more game and maybe help get some more people in the stands. My vixens are cheerleaders, not boosters, Archie. Fine, I'll do it myself. Oh my god, it's gonna be a... <laughs> For a moment, I just thought of, like, Archie with, with the cheerleader face, like, Hello, mommy! No, hello, daddy! Hello, mom! I'm a ch -ch -ch <laughs> oh god, I would like that. No, I, I wouldn't like that, but I would have fun with that. <laughs> you might even get something out of it yourselves. Ta-da! And what about the Vixens? One more game. I'll even come out of retirement to give the people something they'd actually like to see. Namely... Nobody likes to see it. Again, I like you singing and I like your dancing. Like, you're not like a Broadway star. You're not supposed to be, but... Why in a game of teens? Like, how would you feel dancing with people that are like 10 years um, younger than you? Would it be you well, guys would like that. It wouldn't be cringy, just a little. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm coming too harsh on it. But I'm sorry. I'm just like, mad at the show. But first, there's something broken I need to fix. Is she gonna say sorry to Kevin? Is that gonna happen off screen? I don't want that to happen off screen. Cool draw. Was that supposed to be like 
moth men because he didn't like they didn't look like them the recovered blood is AB negative the rarest type under one percent of the population and a match for Polly <sighs> so she she's really I'm so sorry Betty <laughs> until I've seen the body I'm not gonna believe it she, the, I'm, and I'm gonna like go to PLL fiction here the killer could have taken like her blood like for some time and then just put it all over like the the cabin and they would think it's her blood could happen I've seen it happen on the show <laughs> we rather they have done crazier things okay no you're not if you had cared at all about me or my sister you would have done something to help me Betty look I realize you're upset screw you Glenn Screw you, Glenn. I'm gonna say Glenn, what the fuck? The only person that I feel sorry here is for Betty. She's the only one that has like a real problem. And we've in Jack Heavy to the alcohol. But I spoke to Lerman and his parents. They couldn't be nicer people. So Oh he has a glove because of his like Excuse me. I understand. Bet you're going to reunite. So sorry to interrupt. Coach, we have a situation. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> okay. Whatever. He is, like, crossing the limits, but I saw he was supporting for the, the Bulldogs on the sneak peek, so... I think he's gonna do something good, or maybe he's just having like a plan with Hiram, which would honestly be smart because I would trust him. But then Reggie would still be a dick, and people kind of like him. So wait, <coughs> um. Anyway, <laughs> Reggie is the most risky stuff that they're doing right now because he's still. A dick so they're probably just gonna put him being friends with them like on this episode or in the next one because Riverdale is scared of taking risks but if they don't yay to watch the Bulldogs lose week after week yeah well it's not all about winning Reg keep telling yourself that loser 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 I'm trying, okay, guys, because I'm mad with the show, and the only way to fight it is being sarcastic. But <laughs> imagine a, a twenty year, uh, twenty five years old, old year. Uh, imagine an adult like being on a, a coffee or a bar, or whatever you want to call it, and like you're just eating your stuff, and he's like, loser. Loser, loser. I'm gonna be like, you're the loser. You know what, Dad? I actually don't want to talk about it. Is his dad with Josie's mom still? We'll be wiping bulldog blood off our cleats for weeks. You seem so sure. How about a wager? He's giving them steroids. No, not steroids, because that's not a thing on Riverdale. Jingle Jangle or the other shit that was on season 3. And that these stories are cries for help. What? What do you, what do you mean? You need help. Adopt him! Did someone hurt you? Like what you wrote about? Or tie you up? Or keep you locked up? Mr. Jones. It's, it's just a story, okay? I... I, I never... I Adopt the kid. Like, if this is about his parents, adopt him. Be a dad. Would be cool. Would be a change. Yeah, as a matter of fact, that's why I'm here, Cheryl. Please don't when be Jason a dick. First disappear, Cheryl. I was able to grieve for my brother. From my experience, you had his body in your basement. Better. I don't know what it's gonna do to my mom. Now you're being nice and not cringy. It's not hard. See. But like, poor Betty, like being serious. 
This really sucks for her. I love her, I mean, I would hug her. I would adopt her and I'm 19, so yeah. Betty just needs love. That's what I have to say. And she had it until some writers destroy it. Destroyer, like the name of the episode, huh? <laughs> what a coincidence. The league won't even let us on the field with them. Seems to me like the Bulldogs just need a little motivation. Something to get them energized. If he plays, I'm gonna lose it. That will rally the troops and maybe even recruit some new ones. Okay, recruit new ones, don't put them out of the retirement. Is she gonna tell her mom that Polly's dead? That's gonna suck. It's a Polly. Might be another person with the same blood. Just no. saying. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Betty. You're just gonna make things worse. You're gonna give her hope. But at the same time, I mean, it's super hard to tell to a parent that his kid is dead, even though she's already grown up, but whatever. But still, you should have tell her at least that the same, the the blood was the same as hers, and that's just one one percent of the population. Is what they said. I don't I don't remember, but that is supposed to be her. But it's still not confirmed that it's hers. You know what I mean? Or did I got something wrong? Sorry, guys. I just had a class, uh, a fifty minute class, basically. Well, twenty minutes, but whatever. Just. Gonna go back to the show. And Betty hiding Polly's dad to her mom. No, it, it was O positive, it wasn't a match. I really hope that she's alive just because of this. <laughs> Shit. You know what's sad about this whole Betty situation is that she's all by herself, you know? it's It sucks because, you know, Archie's not with her, Veronica, are they even friends now? Like, best friends? Probably not. Jughead is drinking, and yeah, she's all alone, which sucks. Not even Kevin, he's dead, and he, they have been friends for this whole season, basically. Sucks. How dare you break protocol in such a reckless manner? I told you I had already vetted the Logans. I know, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I felt like something was off. My instinct was telling me something strange was going on. One more misstep. I mean, even just... You just talk with your student, like... Is that a, a, a fucking big problem? Like... You didn't encourage him to do shit. He just asked me if everything was okay, which is normal. Did I not got something? Only for the drama. I want to know everything about you, the good and the bad. I, thi I think it's too late for that. Kevin, please. I gotta go. Um, Cheryl, please butt out of our lives. Come on. What's the problem with Kevin, honestly? Holy crap, it's t -Dub. Wow, it is a pleasure to meet you, bro. You're one hell of a player. Oh, man, I appreciate it. Is he famous on real life? Like, is he a player? Or... Or just pretending? I'll be leading the Stallions into battle against Riverdale High. And now he's not gonna like it and he's going to the Bulldog She'll side. Be... I'll be standing with the Bulldogs then. Yeah. I saw him on the sneak peek. I knew this was gonna happen. Back in the summer of 77. And again in 82. 77. I know what happened to your sister. She's had an encounter. Yes, right, but, but with who? The Mothman. I'm sorry. This this whole old, this old man is it looks like a plushie. It looks like a teddy bear. Honestly, look at him. Not now because I'm my screen is on Betty, but I don't know, it just it just reminded me of a teddy bear. And now Betty's gonna be like, what the fuck, aliens? Like a balloon. But anything that gets caught in that stasis, well. 
It gets crushed like it's made out of paper mache. I knew our friends were back in town. I've been Matthew's like, the fuck? Check out. If you wanted to date, just ask me. I'm not into that. Stay calm, Betty. Or just become full dark Betty. I'm here for it. She has bullets, and she has a gun, and she has the guts. <laughs> I was like you. No. You thought I wanted you. No. You think I came here to be groped by your pathetic ass? No. No. <laughs> Shit. Can somebody help? Like, come in and help him? Fuck off. Shit. I wasn't expecting for this to happen, but... Poor cat. Shit. You're leaving these girls alone, and you are never coming back here again. Hey. These girls are the ones looking to trick. Take Tell that, dick! This is something that I, I did. But I... No, no, that, no. It isn't your fault. Okay. You've you've always accepted me. You've never judged me. Mm. I don't know how realistic this is because I never had like a close case of like somebody being ashamed of their sexuality so i don't know if that that probably happens though but he has been like out of the closet at least since season one because when we met him he was already like saying i'm the the gay best friend or whatever i think it's kind of weird that after basically 10 years um that's basically the time between season one and this one that is getting ashamed of, of himself again but I don't know if you guys think that's that's something that could happen like tell me in the comments but I'm sad for him about needing to buy me husky clothes I don't know what are Oski clothes? Like, I'm so ashamed. I've been cruising. It's like I'm hardwired this way or something. I don't know. I don't know. This sucks. But I like this moment, honestly. Found it weird that it's happening now. I, 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 I am, but... I mean, I, I can judge. Never been there, never done that, so yeah. But this scene was, I like this scene, was was beautiful. You're right, John. I'm not gonna arrest you, but you are coming with me. <laughs> what is she gonna do? Oh my god, it's getting intense. You are still preying on these girls. Exactly the same way you prayed on Polly. I have a family. <laughs> That's even worse. I had a sister. Bang. I'm on my way. Lucky you. But let him there. Let him stay for a while. I'll send someone to come untie you tomorrow. Yeah. That's what if I wanted. I, remember. I don't care about their game. Just show me the what Betty and Chuck are doing, and that's. Something I never thought I would say. Did it happen again? I know Brady's gonna be curious about the mystery and they're gonna start solving it together as a couple of friends. Yeah, yeah, Lerm is a sleepwalker. Has been since he was little. We thought he grew out of it, but. Uh, what convenient. That, that's literally convenient. Into a door. Too much. Another time she described being in what sounded like a an space alien spaceship. spaceship. Yeah. Seriously? They could have been abducted by the same person. 
Why would they keep Polly but let Lerman go? Well, maybe he escaped, which is why we need to find out what Lerman knows about that. Or maybe they only want girls. And that's why the men from the mines were out, because they weren't girls. Am I getting somewhere? Or is this like super obvious? I like when they make me think, honestly. That's why, why I think I'm liking this alien shit story that I'm thinking about and I'm gonna be like... Mm. <laughs> it's because they're all girls. I mean, girls have been disappearing and dying. And the men just disappeared and start appearing again. I think some of them disappeared too. Or they died with cancer, wasn't it? Or am I getting confused with the Stonewall prep story because they were all dead, conveniently. I'm curious. Guys, um, she's singing without any microphone. There may be one on the stage, but they're basically hearing this. Wait, I need to, to hear the song to replay for you. Okay, they're hearing this. They're basically hearing this. Don't do that, Cheryl is, is weird. Or just hearing less, but I was trying to, whatever. You need the microphone. Unless she's doing playback, which, which is normal here, but in the, sh in the universe show, she shouldn't. I guess. I don't like the choreo. Supposedly the girls were singing, but they were just smiling. My way of ign ign like ignoring and making this look real on a, on a real situation is that she was doing playback on the actual show and they all know that, but they just like she did she did sing it before and just for like a show so yeah in my term she's doing playback actually on the show on their universe and that's why she's singing like this and she has out of tune it she has like voices behind her that are not from the girls or were from the girls but the girl was just like this while the song was playing so yeah that's how we're gonna excuse this it wasn't that good. I liked the song, but that was just it. They're gonna make it. Maybe they don't win, but they're gonna at least score one. Then it's gonna be now. If she doesn't make it, I'm... Woo! Yeah! Keep going! Did she did it? Yes! Woo! taking over this case. No, th I'm working this case, Glenn. This is my sister. I'll make sure that this investigation is handled thoroughly. And there's like a personal interest on this, so on the... seeing it on the other way, like... It makes sense if somebody else was taking care of this case. Because Betty's her sister and emotions are gonna be caught in the way, supposedly. So this is kind of smart. But I don't trust Glenn. And I don't think Betty trusts him trusts him too. Like, yeah, they had a thing supposedly, or they still have, I don't know what that was, but um Yeah. It's kinda smart, but somebody I don't trust this guy, so yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, so the episode is over, so let's talk a little about it. So I think this episode kind of felt a little bit um, filler at a side, but for another one, like, there was stuff happening and it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Honestly, for now, maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe you guys address some point that I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, that, that was bad. 
but starting already with I did, what I didn't like it was a Cheryl thing she shouldn't be there she should just be a coach as she's supposed to um, what I didn't like more some of the dialogue but that's like kind of always cringy you know we had like four five episodes without the cringy but so we, oh I didn't like the Cheryl talk with um Fangs and Kevin when she was like hashtag kings or whatever I don't like that because that's not how grown-ups talk you're, you, some of you guys may, may be like, oh, you're not a grown-up, and I'm like, I'm 19, and I hear people talking, okay? So, they don't speak, like, ships, or I don't imagine myself talking from six years from now, talking like that, being like, I'm gonna fix you as a couple, hashtag Kangs, he's gonna be back. No. No. Um... Uh, the rest, I kind of like the plot overall, even though Batty lied her mom, that was just for the this Glenn situation to happen later, that's like the plot, but again, I would see Batty doing this, like, I I, I could see her, she doing this like past, past seasons, on season one, she, if she was doing like this FBI stuff she could she would have done something like this to protect people that she loves so it's not out of character you know what i mean um yeah i i honestly don't know too much what to say i mean it was it was a good episode it wasn't like but but i like the kid's story the i don't remember his name is logan or logan's the parents whatever i like the story of the kid is interesting I like how they're connecting Betty and Jughead's storyline doesn't seem forced. And I kind of like their their dynamic as um, um, investigators or whatever. I was interested on their plot and that. Um, and yeah, that's the only thing that I kind of care. Oh, and I love seeing Berta, Bretta, whatever. Berta, that's her name? Yeah, I like her. Yeah, and I like Reggie going to the the bright side again. I, I don't think it's gonna be forever, but yeah, it was good to see them with his friends. Even though it's kind of contradicting what I said before that they're just taking Reggie back to the good side, but that's something that I would expect them to do, honestly. The rest, yeah, nothing much more to say. I kind of liked it. Um, now I'm curious about what's gonna happen in the next episode. But yeah, there was nothing happening about ships on this episode, besides, you know, Varchi is back together, but they just were like doing normal shit, nothing like huge show, yeah? It's okay, I guess, I suppose. I suppose, no, it, it's okay, but yeah, I don't know what to say, yeah. I'm just curious for the next episode, honestly, and yeah. Um, I'm gonna rank this episode as a, um, I'm gonna give it a 7. This one is a real 7. Because it wasn't as bad as I thought and I think that's good. When we have like low expectations, things will look better on, on us. Like, we were having really high expectations to Barchi. So we thought the last episode was a, a shit and it was. The writing was terrible, but... Yeah, um... Oh, I wanted to say something about Barchi, but I forgot on the beginning of the video, is that um, I'm only gonna believe that they will be together again if they give us at least a hint of that until the finale of this season. Not the middle, not the mid-finale, because that's next week, and I think that's gonna happen right now, but if they don't give us something like Barchi that is hinting that they will be together in the future, I'm not gonna believe they will be together on season six. I don't know if season six is gonna be the last one. I would give Riverdale seven seasons because they have contracts and all. Seven, eight seasons, like the Vampire Diaries had eight, but Pretty Little Liars had seven, but I'm, I'm talking more about the Vampire Diaries because it's on the CW. 
but I guess they could go, they could do Riverdale eight seasons. I don't know if I would like that because they're pushing the story too much. But if it was over on season six, I would actually be happy. For one side, for another one, I'll be sad because obviously I like this show and I've been watching it since the first day, so yeah. I would be sad that it would be over, but that depends on season 6 storyline. If they have a good storyline, I would be like, okay, this is a good storyline to be over with, but... Yeah, if they wanted to give me the, the 8 seasons, I'm here for it too. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm... That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Nothing more, nothing much to say. Um, if you didn't, we're on the beginning of the video. Uh, I'm gonna ask you again, please... Uh, Put on the comments what was your least favorite thing about season two. I would like to see those opinions. Or if you can say each season for me, it's okay. But I'm, right now I'm just looking for season two. Um, give it a big thumbs up to the video if you like my reaction. I was a little bit um, sarcastic on the beginning of the reaction because I'm still mad with what happened. But then I had my class, <clears throat> my my voice class, and that got me less stressed. Let's say like that. And subscribe for more content, cause why not? Literally, you don't waste anything. Oh yeah, and now we have an Instagram, so go there, follow, because I'll I'll be posting stuff on the there. Basically, I'm gonna be posting stuff there and like updates, and you will know when episodes are about to come. Or if I'm editing, I'm gonna be telling you guys I'm editing, so you won't be like on the uh, a blank space. We'll, which one you like? Is he uploading today, tomorrow? Then I'll keep you guys updated because that depends a lot on how YouTube likes to fuck up my videos oh, because of the copywriting, obviously. So yeah, follow my Instagram. I'll leave it on the description in the comments. And yeah, I don't have much more to say. It was an eh episode. It was good. My, I, I don't have nothing <clears throat> against it. I kind of like the stories. I just wish that uh, Fangs and Tabitha had more like screen time, you know, because they're main characters now, they're part of the regular cast and they're just there for like one or two scenes. Tabitha has been more on the show than Fangs on the season overall, but yeah, whatever. I, I would like them to have a, a storyline that didn't depend on Jughead or uh, Kevin, but yeah. That's my thoughts. I liked this, this, the plot overall. It was like, okay. And yeah, this was it. I see you guys next week for the mid-season finale. I hope they left us on a big cliffhanger so we can start theorizing stuff and shit. And yeah, that's it. This is High Will, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. And. You can watch my other videos if you didn't already. I promise you that, besides the last episode, my reactions are always more happy. Probably. And I like the episodes that we were having on season 5 until the last one, so they're probably more happy. So yeah, go watch them more if you like other shows that I that I did before. I do a lot of random stuff, like I have this more teen-based shows, I have more cartoon shows, and I want Elite to come and then I'll have a more adult show, say like that. So yeah, that's it, bye!